It's time for a tiny party. Today I've teamed up with Google Home and Google Play Music to make a tiny party for my kids. I'm gonna be relying on my Google Home to help me plan and convert my recipes to make tiny items. And Google Play Music is gonna provide the perfect playlists for baking and having my mini party. To make my tiny party truly amazing, I'm gonna to need to plan out my desserts and my decor. For my mini desserts, I'm thinking a tiny cake, maybe some little cupcake sundae surprises and baby banana bites. I'll also make miniature milkshakes and some tiny hot dogs to round out the party. To style it up, I found a pint-sized piñata, mini party hats, and I'll be showing you how to make tiny balloons because basically everything's better in miniature. So let's get started. Okay, Google, play some music, for baking. Sure, here's a Google Play music station called Farm to Table. First up, we're gonna make a miniature cake. So I'm gonna take my butter, and that's four tablespoons of butter, my egg, my sugar, four tablespoons of sugar, and a quarter of a teaspoon, just a little bit of vanilla. You can use an electric mixer here if you like, but I feel like for such a small cake, it's kind of a waste of washing up. So I'm just mixing by hand. So that's all mixed up. I'm gonna add in a half a cup of flour with a teaspoon of baking powder, and then I've got 30 milliliters of milk. Okay, Google, what's 30 milliliters converted into tablespoons? 30 milliliters equals 2.029 US tablespoons. So two tablespoons of milk, or 2.029, if you wanna be precise. We'll mix that one all the way around. Because this cake's for my kids and I know they love sprinkles, I've also got a quarter of a cup of sprinkles, once you put these ones in, try not to mix them around too much because they will start to run if you overmix them. So gently fold them through. Then you wanna get it straight into your baking tin. Now my smallest cake tin is a six inch and I want this to be a really small cake. So I'm actually gonna bake it in a tin can. This is a 420 gram can. Okay, Google, what's 420 grams in ounces? 420 grams equals 14.815 ounces. So about a 15 ounce can. You wanna give that a good spray with some cooking oil and then line it with a circle of parchment on the base and a length of parchment around the outside. Into the can. I'm not gonna lie, it feels weird putting food into a can instead of taking it out. You wanna take your can of cake and you're gonna put it into a preheated oven. So mine's gonna go in at about 350 Fahrenheit or if you're in Celsius. Okay, Google, what's the conversion for 350 Fahrenheit into Celsius? 350 degrees Fahrenheit equals 176.667 degrees Celsius. So 175 or 176.667 if you want to be really precise. You want it to bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. Okay Google, can you set me a timer for 25 minutes? All right, 25 minutes, starting now. You'll know that one's done when it springs back when you touch it on top or a skewer in the middle comes out clean. We're ready. Okay, Google, stop timer. Let that one cool in the can for about five minutes and then remove it by just lifting the parchment and tipping out the cake. Pop the cake on a wire rack and let it completely cool before you start frosting. To decorate, I'm using about a cup of frosting that I've tinted pink. You can make your own or use store-bought. I'm gonna slice the very top bit of the cake off and then divide it in half, frost in the middle and all the way around the outsides, getting it nice and straight. I wanna press small round sprinkles around the bottom section and then I'm gonna use just a star piping tip to pipe little tiny stars of frosting on top and then some different long sprinkles in the middle. Some tiny red balls on top to kind of look like cherries and then we're gonna complete the look with three long candles. And that's it. The star of our mini party is done and it looks adorable. So let's move on to some more cute mini things. Mini balloons. Yes, you could just blow up regular balloons small, but then they'd be all wrinkly. So I decided to use water bombs to create mini balloons. Blow up your water balloons and tie knots in them. And then I'm using a combination of either bendy straws or paper straws. Take a skewer and use that to really force the little balloon tie right into that bendy straw as far as it can go. And then take just a little bit of curling ribbon and tie it around. That's gonna help make it look more balloony, but also support it on top. If you've got paper straws, they work really well too, but you'll wanna cut four small incisions just in the very, very top, just about a couple of millimeters long, and then fan them out. 
Take your balloon and use the skewer to push it down into the paper straw, just like you did with the bendy ones. But then you want to close up those little paper segments. And again, tie it off with a little bit of curling ribbon, sliding it all the way up. So those little cut segments kind of trap your balloon in place. Mini balloons. I like a combination of the curly straws and the straight straws in all different patterns, but it's completely up to you. Either way, they're absolutely adorable. And these also make a really cute cake topper, just if you're looking for ideas. Next up, it's tiny surprise cupcake sundaes. For these ones, I've baked some miniature cupcakes and I found some really small little drinking cups. I'm gonna put chocolate coated candies in the bottom of mine in all different colors, and then a really fun, bright mini spoon. Pop your cupcake on top of the candies and then I'm going to use some white buttercream frosting with an open round piping tip to pipe a nice high swirl. I've got some ice cream wafers and I'm just going to slice them with a serrated edge knife to make little teeny tiny looking triangular ice cream wafers. A little melted chocolate in a snap seal bag kind of drizzle on top and give them a tap to make sure it looks a little bit ooey gooey luxurious chocolate and then add on some sprinkles and finally a little red candy. Add an ice cream wafer at the back and you're done. Super simple and the kids will go nuts for these. We've got a mini cake, mini balloons, mini surprise cupcake sundaes, but we're gonna need something to drink. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make mini milkshakes. I found these adorable mini mason jars, which is what I'm gonna serve my milkshakes in. For the ingredients, you can make your favorite, but if you want a really simple one, I've got four teaspoons of chocolate milk powder, 300 mils of whole milk, and I've got 150 mils of whipping cream. I'm not using a mixer today, I'm gonna to be making mine in a mason jar. We don't need very much milkshake for our mini party. Pour the cream into the milk, and then add the chocolate powder, pop on the lid and shake it all about. Because we've put cream in there, it's actually gonna whip a little bit in the mason jar, so shake it for a fair while. It'll help thicken your milkshake up. Let's take a look at our milkshake. Yum! Did you know you can actually whip cream in a mason jar? From liquid to whipped. There's a little known fact. Pour your milkshakes into your little masons. Ah, textbook finish on the amount. One mason jar equals four mini milkshakes and no leftovers. Kind of sad. If you want a garnish, I'm going to take a little bit of whipped cream, some sprinkles and mini gummy bears just to dress them up a little bit. Kind of adorable. So we've got sweets, we've got drinks, we've got some decorations. I feel like we need something for a main course and maybe some fruit. These guys are called baby banana bites. They're a good way to get bananas in the party, but we're making them just a little bit more fun than your average banana. I'm gonna cut off any curved edges. We're taking good, clean, healthy bananas and we're adding what? Chocolate and sprinkles. Maybe a little cream. So we're gonna take these bananas and dip them in chocolate. Dip them in chocolate. Awesome. We're just gonna make like a little chocolate foot for each of our banana pieces. Whoa, I'm getting messy. Ah, the best part. Um, Mom? Yeah, <laughs> what's happened here? <laughs> All right, this one might be a bit of a mess. I'm adding fresh cream on top of our banana bites and then do you want a sprinkle? Yeah. And then I'm gonna add a cherry. If you don't like cherries, you can throw like a red M&M or something. It just kind of looks cute on top. Ollie. Uh -huh. It's nearly time for the party. Should we go set it up? Yeah! All right. My mini party is going to be set up on a mini table, which is essentially a study desk. I'm starting with mini ruffles and some little waffle balls stuck to the wall. And then I'm going to use, of course, my mini balloons. Add my mini pinata, who's filled with mini candies. T-Rex with a hat and balloon, because the boys all love it. Next goes on the mini cake. Surprise cupcake sundaes. Google Home needs a spot at my party table. And then my banana bite. I'm going to add my milkshakes. I'm gonna make these last because I want them to be nice and hot when they go out. But I found these little tiny dinner rolls and I'm gonna make miniature hot dogs. I'm just gonna cut my rolls and add in a miniature sausage. My kids love cheese, so that's a must. And then some tomato sauce and relish and out they go. Now that my hot dogs are ready, they can go on as well as a couple of tiny presents. Let's get the kids in. Okay, Google, play some fun family music. All right, here's a Google Play music station called Fun Family Hangout. Google Home.
Chrome and Google Play Music for making my tiny party so much easier to plan. You know, I don't actually think I'll ever convert my own measurements again. If you want to see Google Home in action, you can come down to Google's Block Party in Venice on February 11th and 12th. I'm going to be there on February 11th between 10 and 1, and I'd love it if you came and said hi. Have an awesome day, you guys. We hope you love seeing our tiny party in action. We've got some tiny treats to eat. Daddy's a